Fair enough. Uh, have you got another one? Um, I've got a couple of other ones. Uh, Paul was dead keen to talk about Terry Smith, um, who I am rarely keen to talk about. But here's a quick mention of what's happened. He's moved some things around a little bit. He's roughly doubled his position in uh, Apple, and he's roughly quadrupled his position in Procter & Gamble, um, which is interesting. Uh, there's an, always a chance with people making kind of... This counts as a big bet. It only takes it to about halfway up his portfolio, but you know, you quadruple your holding in anything. Uh, it counts as a, a significant move, as far as I'm concerned. Um, started buying MasterCard and Marriott, and um, one more stock that we'll come back to in a second... But uh, around the time, Steve, that you and I were saying, well, this isn't great from Procter & Gamble. Aren't, aren't these things supposed to like grow faster than inflation? Or are they brands supposed to mean you push through prices and the customers don't go away and you can therefore fend off inflationary raises? Procter & Gamble isn't doing this. Terry Smith feels differently. Um, I, who am I to question the UK's Warren Buffett? Yeah, um, well, I'm right with you here, Steve. I still don't really see what he's uh, what he's so attracted to here. Um, I noticed that he's clipped the wings of um, Adobe, uh, which is not very timely because I think Adobe's gone up quite a lot this week. I think it went up 10% uh, either yesterday or the day before uh, a loan. So that was that was a large uh, uptick. Um, but yeah, he's just he's just doing Terry Smith things, isn't he? I think he's buying Meta here as well, which is fairly, I think that's, that's quite expensive at the mm. moment. Microsoft is quite expensive at the moment. Procter & Gamble, I wouldn't, I'm not interested in. Apple, at these prices, I'm not really interested in. And Google, I think, has gone up an awful lot recently as well. So, I don't know, Steve. I, I, I'm not the biggest Terry Smith fan in the world, but um, I'd love to see what his rationale is. I'm sure he's, he's, he's said it. He normally does his little talks, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, I think. I, I can't work out this UK's Warren Buffett thing. I, I hate it as a comparison, but I can't work out whether that means I hate him or I just hate the people who make that comparison. Uh, probably depends on whether I think he makes that comparison. I think he sort of does play to it a bit, which makes me cross at him. But uh, he's been buying a company that we've talked about, or I've talked about on this show, which makes me horrified. And if I owned it, I'd have to sell it instantly. Uh, he's been buying shares in Graco, uh, Steve, which uh, to me looked like a, a Warren Buffett type stock. It is too small for to be a meaningful Berkshire target and too overpriced to be a realistic, like complete takeover uh, pro- um uh, target so it looks like the kind of thing um well, they're really good at what they do they move liquids around that are difficult to pump and they make specialist equipment and they get into people's supply chains and they make separate paint sprayers and so on they have a reputation for being the best they have very good returns on capital they have um okay growth they actually smashed it out of the park recently with some earnings guidance um but uh, not earnings guidance earnings results but uh, they are priced accordingly. Basically, they're usually in the sort of high 20s PE-wise, which means that the returns aren't quite there. There is a genuine question of how far you think the growth runway goes for this company. It's really, really good uh, business. I wish I'd known about it sort of uh, eight to 10 years ago. But um, right now, it's a kind of weirdish buy uh, to me, given that Terry Smith is someone who holds as one of his principles, don't overpay. Hmm. Yeah, strange one to me. What did you think of his top holdings, Steve? At the moment, we've got Microsoft, Philip Morris, Straker, Idex, and Estee Lauder. Not really anything in there that I'm screamingly excited to go rush out and buy. No, nothing that I'm screaming to go out and buy at the moment. I noticed he reduced an Estee Lauder, Striker, and Idex, I think, and maybe Philip Morris as well, he did, uh, yeah. if I'm, I'm right about that. Philip Morris has always been my preferred cigarette uh, company, mostly because of their kind of... Uh, the way I think about cigarette stocks is you're betting on population growth rising faster than, number of, than percentage of population smoking declines, because that is happening. Uh, and Philip Morris, I think, is best exposed to the countries where population growth is rising the fastest. Uh, so I like their chances better than I like the chances of a Bats or definitely an Altria. Uh, they're usually priced at a slight premium to those stocks as well. Uh, I could definitely see my way to thinking they're decent value. I'm not sure I'd be selling them uh, particularly. I'm not sure what's been happening in the Philip Morris world that means all of a sudden you want to run out of there if I previously owned them. Uh, but... Um, I, I'm not a massive fan of uh, much of this um, at the top of that strike is a good company I think it's a medical device it's, it's the kind of um, it's the waste connections versus waste management to intuitive surgical I think so if you think of uh, trash disposal waste management is the big one waste mm. connections is a perfectly good much smaller uh, one I think the way I think about it striker is 
like intuitive surgical, but uh, a sort of distant, perfectly respectable in terms of itself second, though. Yeah, and they do a bit more general um, hospital machinery, isn't they? I've seen them knocking around them um, when mm. uh, when we've been at well, when we've been at hospital recently. Yeah, we saw a few bits and pieces of striker equipment. That's something I that was a thing I noticed from the scan photo that you sent me. Actually, your scan photo has Canon written at the top of it, and every it scan photo it. I've seen written before has GE at the top of it, which made me uh, interested to note. Not that there's anything particularly better or worse about one or the other, but when I looked at the GE thing, I thought, oh yeah, they still going. And actually, GE Healthcare is a pretty serious kind of operation. It's um, yeah, big outfit, big outfit, a pretty good outfit as well, uh, from what I gather. Just part of a conglomerate that's been catastrophically badly run. More on that story another.